So welcome everyone to Almonit. Um, Almonit, uh, I'm just gonna quickly tell you what it does um, and what we do, who we are. And the presentation is divided into, uh, into two parts. One, I'm gonna, talk, uh, I'm gonna be talking about the uh, non-technical parts of it. And um, the, the second part, which will be covered, uh, will be by Mohammed. He will talk about uh, more technical details, but as well give you a demo of the Alpress uh, platform itself. Um, so who we are? We are a group of people, a group of friends working together, uh, developing projects that plan to change the internet for better. So we, so what we mean by that, it means we, we, we're trying to decentralize a piece of internet, uh, bringing a little bit more value in the censorship resistant areas, um, privacies, as well as the robust, robustness of the, uh, of the technologies that lays behind the IPFS or ENS. Um, yep. Yeah, so you can see that my name is Christopher Lebos and I'm a co-founder as well as our lead operation. Mohammed is uh, another co-founder as well and he is our technical lead. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is Almonit? Almonit is a project for developing decentralized web applications and web services as an alternative to traditional tools uh, functioning today. Um, so now let me give you a, a quick uh, brief uh, in terms of uh, what sort of projects we have already um, developed under on Almonit. So at the moment we have uh, ENS Resolver. Uh, it's our extension that is fully um, decentralized. It's censorship resistant. It is anonymous. Uh, it doesn't have a central authority and supports all modern uh, browsers uh, on Chromium based. So basically it is uh, just a link to the uh, uh, decentralized web. Uh, the other tool that we also thought it's um, important for us uh, once we created the extension, it was uh, if, we did, if we create a decentralized um, a search engine, a search engine that will help discover all the decentralized webs, uh, sorry, websites. Uh, as you can see, there is a, um, if you go to harmony.eth.link, uh, the first thing what you see is actually a decentralized website itself, and it's our search engine. It is just a basic uh, version of the search engine. It works quite okay, but we haven't spent, uh, spent so much time on it, uh, only because uh, we realize how important for us actually is to create another tool that actually um, will, will help uh, all users across the globe to easily access uh, the, the decentralized web, but also help them create um, decentralized websites. So we thought the next step for us really is to create a decentralized platform. And here it is, um, Alpress. We decided to call it Alpress. Alpress is a self-governing decentralized platform for publishing articles. Uh, what what actually the 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 Alpress two is gives you a possibility to uh, you know to use the built-in rich text editor, play with the text, um, you know implement um, add some pictures and just just work exactly the same as the any other block block platform. Um, there is a there is a um, couple of examples here. You can see that how it looks like in on the left side, but it also uh, shows how the how the published article can look like. Um, so, in a in a nutshell, there is a couple of uh, things that um, can be described um, by by the Alpress. Alpress is self governed, and that means contributors are the members who decide what exactly is happening with the content that is being created within the Alpress community. It is also decentralized, so that means there is no single point involved. It is also censorship resistant. No one can censor the content apart from its members. And what most important, there's no technical, uh, no, techni no technicality needed um, in order to use it. So no developer skills and anyone can really go in and just create a decentralized website in a few and easy steps. Um, now let me dive in in a couple of more details in terms of uh, those four, four points. So self-governed organization, what exactly it means? It means it's an alternative to the today's commercial control mechanism. 
So what exactly um, Alpres uh, is offering? Alpres is offering, uh, uh, you know, um, it combines three different technologies. One technology behind it is um, IPFS for storage uh, services, but also ENS for the domains, but also as well the uh, DAO. And the DAO in this case is actually presented as a SGO. Um, so ENS and IPFS technologies are the core technologies behind the um, behind the the Alpres, uh, project. Uh, censorship resistance is is actually another powerful tool that is being utilized, um, and Alpres is decentralized to the extent ENS and IPFS technologies are uh, uh, decentralized. So no one can really censor the content of Alpres apart from their members voting via DAO. And DAO can be voted within two different models, either um, voted by the community or by the appointed um, members. Um, what most important as well is that anyone can use it. And it's really so easy to, to create um, an account within the Alpres. All you need is just a, a quick access to the MetaMask uh, via the MetaMask wallet in order to complete a couple of simple transactions and the registration process is really, really easy. Now, I would like to uh, ask uh, my fellow friend, Mohammed, uh, to give you a demo, how actually uh, the Alpress looks like and how it feels. Uh, let me, let me uh, again, uh, express what is Alpress one more time, as, as uh, my friend Chris did. So Alpress is a decentralized self-governing publication platform. Uh, anyone can be an author and publish their articles in the system. And uh, users can be anonymous while doing that. Uh, and any reader can read those articles and uh, read them without uh, having an uh, account. Uh, Alpress is consists of two main parts. Uh, the first one is a decentralized web application based on ENS, ENS and IPFS, as you see in, in here. It actually comes from IPFS gateway. And, uh, and the second part is the DAO, it stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. So it's like a, a sort of a decentralized business model and lets users of, users of all press to govern any idea, assets or decisions by giving them a voting power. Uh, and this is the part uh, which transforms all press to self-governing organizations simply with built-in self-moderation mechanism. And uh, today I will only demo you the, the web application part. Uh, from the point of regular web user, this looks like a traditional web application, as you can see. Uh, but the main difference is uh, nothing belong to the Alpress runs on any centralized server. Uh, means the application requests goes only to IPFS and Ethereum nodes. No analytics, no tracking trackings involved with it. Uh, to interact with the application, uh, each user needs uh, just a wallet, and currently, uh, and unfortunately, we only support MetaMask at this stage. And uh, uh, the user needs some test Ethereum, uh, uh, test Ethereum Ether, simply for uh, account purchase. And if anyone wants to try trade out, I can I can try to be helpful about that. Uh, uh, login and registration is done over a simple button. If you already have an account, the application will take you to the, your account. And if not, you will be welcomed with registration wizard. And currently in here, I created uh, one account for IPFS and I have two test Ethereum here. And when I click the connect, uh, because I don't have any account, it will just take me here. Uh, each user uh, has a username, as we call it, handle. Uh, the handles are the subdomains and the usernames in the platform. It's unique for each user, and every account can have only one handle. Uh, users uh, can uh, reach their profile via handle.alpress.teth or eth or edh.link for future. Currently, we are just using ENS on the Rinkabyte testnet, so it's not available for public yet. Um, so, um, so you can see the uh, like you can see if you if, uh, the handle you want to take is uh, already uh, taken by someone or not like like this uh, by simply querying the blockchain, and if if it's not, you can go and buy it. And for this demo, I will buy IPFS twenty one. 
Uh, here you fill your auto information. Those information doesn't have to be correct. We leave it for your needs or to your imagination. I will just call it IPFS and I will pick your logo. And uh, let's IPFS community look, call it like that. And after filling it, uh, we are just signing up and MetaMask pops up. We just confirm the transaction. It may, it may take some time. And when it's done, we will be signed into our account. Yeah, uh, we are already in, in our account now. Uh, but because we don't have any published articles, uh, we we just see one one single button to create a new blog post. And uh, now I'm going. To, I just want to copy one of the IPFS blog posts into this into the editor. And I have one in here. This is a built-in rich text editor, so you can do. Uh, the, the, the similar things as you do in any uh, modern uh, like documentation editor, simply. It lets you do pretty much everything. And let's copy an image. And, and the content. So you have like both inline tool and uh, separated tool you can use pretty much in anywhere. And now we are ready to publish. And this is our first publication for the press. Soon we want to eliminate these multiple transactions via IPNS. So we don't have to update the, uh, our ENS uh, content hash each time because the, the how it works is simply uh, whenever we publish something, we generate a new content hash and update the ENS uh, with, the, with the transactions. We don't want to do that after the registration. And as you can see, this is our first, first blog. And when I go inside, it's just a regular blog. And uh, this is our profile, simply IPFS21. I'll, I'll press the TETH. It may take some time uh, for the first Signic process. Yeah, it's interestingly. So, so, it's yeah. Actually, I, I don't want to. I don't want to take uh, more time. I can. I can share the image later when when the profile is saying it. So it's pretty much this. Anybody hear me? Yes. So, would you like to share <laughs> it later? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I was I was expecting that it's going to be uh, fast, sorry, but okay. seems like it's somehow stuck. Or I can I can simply while just uh, sharing my screen, I can I can show uh, like this for another testing account. From today, I can just jump in and open the profile, and at least you can see how it looks like. Yeah, 